Hello my fabulous people! It's Ellen and welcome to my channel. We're doing some fun, loose winter, ah, it's a little abstract, a little realism, watercolor today. Wet on wet, splashing some gouache with some snow, a couple of techniques. And I'm just doing this real time so you guys can see how I figure out how to do things. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so so you know my tutorial is up. Also for the trees, I give a, a reference for people on Patreon, but basically you guys can just grab some just winter trees off the net and uh, you know, you guys can paint trees. You don't even need to have that reference. You can just paint whatever trees you want. So, and if you're not a Patreon member, it's a place I have um, ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and live stream once a month on the top tier. It's a, where people go and support my channel and I appreciate it so much. You can check it out up here in a second. So without further ado, let's get painting some Winter Wonderland. Okay guys, so for this quick tutorial, I'm gonna go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I just basically taped it down with scotch tape on a piece of cardboard. It's about an eight by 10 size paper towels, my paints. I'll be working with the Princeton 12 Neptune series brush and the number four long round for the trees. And probably them are eight, maybe for some shadows if I'm gonna do shadows. Um, I just grabbed some trees off the internet, man. Excuse my language, but man, I don't know why I'm saying man, but uh, and then I just play around with them on my program Illustrator. I just place them, boom, 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 right? Just kind of like that. But you don't need to do that. You can, you know, if you can draw a tree, you can just do the same thing. We're gonna play around with just moving color around and. This is just a guide to help me figure out where I want to place the trees. But you don't really need this. You know, you can do this if you know how to paint a tree, which I think a lot of people can paint a tree. It's just basically, you know, the, the trunk and a lot of these little lines. Um, and I'm going to do like a curved kind of snow area here and here. So you can picture like these trees are in the snow, right? And this is our so I drew the, like the line that I want to put the trees in right around here, curving this way. I just realized I put it too far down low. I want to go a little bit, a little bit higher. So I'm going to go, got to curve it from here, do a nice curve. I'll just do a pencil, quick light pencil line just to give me a guide. And then I have the other one going here, kind of curving, going towards this one. And then I'll have my trees placed. But basically to start, we don't need the trees place. And you can play around with however you want the colors. To, it can be all kind of like very grays and dismal or intense, you know, depending on how you want to do it. So I'm going to mix up. I'm actually going to take some water first. Just so I can mix up some paint. We could do both at the same time. I'm going to mix up some paint first. I'm going to mix up some grays and some blues, whatever. So play around with this. It doesn't have to be gray. It doesn't have to be blue. It can be a bit green. Play around. I'm going to just snap track kind of loose, just playing around kind of painting. I have this color called neutral tint. It actually is a color. Whoop. See? Uh, from Holbein. You want to mix up a fair amount of this. The color itself is just great. You can just water this down. This is perfect for the whole entire thing. Maybe I'll add a little ultramarine blue up here. that blue color really want to water it down okay play around with those two colors for now so I'm gonna take my big brush my number 12 and I'm gonna get this whole area wet on the top basically to where that back line is it's curving and wherever you have the water on your papers where the watercolor will go. We're going to be moving this board so you can move the board up and down. Um, that's why it's good to have it on something that you can lift up and down easily. If it's on a heavy thing, it might not be so easy to lift up and down. I'm just going to get this so the water is going to stop wherever the, I mean, the watercolor is going to stop wherever the water is. Okay. We've got that, see that sheen of water there? I'm gonna lift it up like this on an angle. I'm gonna get this pretty light. I don't want this super dark. 
You don't want to set off really dark. If you set off really dark, then you're kind of in trouble. I'm going to add some more water to this. I really want this pale, pale color. See, it's going to keep dripping down. See, I'm holding it on an angle. It's going to keep dripping down. Wherever the water is, it's going to pool right there. Get this nice, pretty light gray blue color. This is just a neutral tint, actually. So I'm telling you, you might like this color. And it stops right where the water ends. So you can start to put in some deeper color if you want. Get this nice, pretty pale gray sky. Now you can start, I can lay it down now. Oop, got some paint in the way. And I have that pretty flat wash on top. And then you can start to bleed a little bit deeper color. So I'm gonna grab, see I'm grabbing the neutral tint itself. I miss that color here. Stop playing around with bleeding in some color here. Now this color, so you can make it a little bit thicker. So kind of like little trees in the distance right now, right? You can just doom right there. Simple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can just, there's your simple uh, winter watercolor, right? And then you just can put in some trees. You don't even have to do the tall trees. See, you got your snow right here. You can make this so simple for your life, guys. But I'm not doing that. I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna take this loose paint and I'm gonna make these little doodads. I don't know what you call it, but I'm gonna have it bleeding downward. See this? I'm just tapping it with a little darker color. See how it's bleeding downwards, making this really kind of cool trees. Get a little bit darker, I can do a little more tree. Just want this hazy kind of mystical looking. Now if you want to get a little bit darker here, so it bleeds down a little more, put like a line, even taller. See how this looks, we flip it back. If you want it rounded, rounded, <laughs> rounder. Look at that. Mystery. Can add a little more in here. Right? Looking pretty cool, just like that. Simple. I mean you see a lot of tutorials on YouTube doing this. A lot of people like to do this. Now it's still very wet. The, the less, see, neutral tint. I grab a little of that um, ultramarine blue. Less water, the less it's going to bleed. Make it even darker one here. If you want to do that, I'm not gonna get that crazy because we're gonna put those trees right, and it's gonna dry lighter. Put a little bit blue. More like more like a rounded bush, kind of right there. And right here. This is the fun playing part. See, you get a little bit deeper. But you get that mystery, mystery, mysterious. <laughs> it's so much fun to do this. Now this stage, we're saying no touch, no bueno, <laughs> right? You want the mystery to dry just the way it is, so we cannot touch it. If we touch it, well, then it's gonna not be the same, okay? So I'm gonna let it sit, and let it dry and come back. Okay, so once all your trees are dry, I mean, excuse me, once your background is dry, you can just kind of rough in with the pencil marks your trees where you want them to go. Obviously, this bigger one in the front and get a little bit smaller. So bigger, smaller, 
smaller, smaller, smaller, you know, in a triangle. Think of that in a triangle. Same thing here. So I'm going to use my number four. I'm actually going to grab some black gouache and mix it in with some neutral tint. So it's more of a, you know, different kind of gray. You can play around with the color tones. I'm going to just te test it out in the swatch here. And I might start with just a little tree in the back. Just put them in here. Again, I might get a little bit darker. Let's see, that's kind of like not the color I want. I might even add a little brown, like burnt umber to it. Just figure out the colors that you like. You can keep it all in the gray tones. And you just stick that little tree. It's kind of the main trunk there. And you see some main branches that are thicker, right, that are coming out. You can see this tree that here. And then from there, you just kind of do all those little teeny tree branches. It's kind of tedious, but very therapeutic at the same time. You just get all those little branches. You see, this is coming up, teeny weeny. I mean, there's so many little teeny tiny branches. You can spend days painting it. So there's this, I'm just going to give you a guide, like there's this small tree is going to go there. And then we put the bigger one. So I'm grabbing that color here, like brown. This one could be a little bit different. See, it's got this tall, kind of skinny. And I might actually, it's a little bit dark, I might actually tone this down a bit with the grays. I felt like that got too dark. I'm just going to go real quick and grab my paper towel. Kind of go back over that. Take out that dark intensity. I want it to be a little bit lighter than that. Just put in all those little light branches. Really pale. That one got a little too dark. I, st I just want to take that out. I'm going to take my brush Gonna go back over that. Just remove the intensity of that color. Just want to take all your little. That's why the number four is great. You get this little skinny brush. You're know, making really pale ones in the background. Just have fun. I mean, this is such a great thing you can do. Like listening to music getting out of your head. I'm just giving you a guide, like this is where the second one would go. And then the third one would be here. I have this guy here. Again, this tree's kind of funky. You don't have to make the same tree. Heck, you don't even have to do these kind of trees. You could do a, you know, a pine tree. It's just to get you doing some different things. So you're going to have this one go up a little more. Get a little bit darker because it's getting a little closer to the foreground. Let's see. And we'll do the bigger one. I'm just giving you a guide. Like the bigger one, again, even bigger will be here. I might get a little bit darker on the bottom down here. Just giving a guide where it's going to go out to. Adding in the colors here. There's a bigger branch. And then of course the big, big, big one in the front. That one has like a yellow tone, but I can change it out to a nice brown, gray kind of tone. Let me see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all my little tree branches. 
you don't need to see me do all these little tree branches. And then we can come back and we can do some fun shadows and call it a day. This is a simple thing, guys. You don't have to make things so complicated. Get out of your little head. I'm just doing something simple today because yeah, I just, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like, ugh, like enough with this year. You know what I mean? I know we said that last year, but <laughs> I'm really feeling it this year. Just want to get to a better place and ugh, stressed out, you know? So here, I'm just making this a little bit darker here on the bottom, adding a little more deeper color. So I'm gonna go and finish all these little, these little guys. I think I'll do a little bit of my speed up for you guys so you can see me paint it. I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, once you get all the trees in, then I'm gonna grab my Princeton eight long round. Now remember I mixed that up, mixed that um, ultramarine blue with the neutral tint. It's like that bluish gray color. You can get brighter if you want, add a little more blue. I'm gonna water this down. I'm gonna put some shadows from the trees. So I decided not to put that second line in that I was gonna originally do. I'm just gonna take the blue color go from the tree trunk and go out like that. Like we're curving on the hill. You can get a little bolder if you want. You can add a bigger stroke, you know. You can start to do a little branch if you want to do that. You don't have to get super technical on this. See, I'm adding a little branch, a couple little branches. Make it a little bit bigger on this. But, you know, obviously the shadow wouldn't be that big because of the, the fact that, <laughs> well, there's not much tree left, right? And you could play around with adding in a little rock or something. Um, you know, you could pretend there was a rock here or whatever and just add like a little rock. I think I'm just going to keep it simple. You know, just like that. And... We're quite not done yet. Quite not done yet. I can't even speak today. Gonna go a little bit more with the shadow. Like I said, you could put like a little grass in there. Do whatever you want. I'm gonna keep this really simple. If I wanted to put a little grass, I could put a little couple of brown grasses in here, peeking through the snow. And then you could put, you know, some shadows, kind of from the grass. Also, some bigger shadows. I can just put a bigger shadow down here. You don't even have to know why. There's just something over there causing a shadow. All right. This is the fun part with this blue color. Let's go like that. A little shadow back there. Okay. So now, and again, you could add the shadow back here. I don't know if I want to touch it. Should I touch it? Should I not touch it? I don't know. This is the part that makes you crazy, right? Oh, I probably won't. I think I'm gonna add, um, take some white gouache, if I can find it. See, I'm gonna talk it to you guys. And let's just, let's really have some fun. Let's play and put some snow out. Some white gouache. We'll get that really loose. And some water. Now I like to splatter my snow taking the brush and taking a utensil and just going on top of that. Oh yeah. 
let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And it just becomes so much more fun. And it's snowing. Yeah, I know. I know you might say, well, why did you paint all that to do that? Because that's the fun of it. That's the beauty, guys. Let me get this really cool. See, look, look up close. All the fun snow. So you might want to put some more shadows back here. I don't know. It's up to you. I was just trying to make this simple and fun. I'm adding a lot of snow because I can and I feel like it. There you go. I know it kind of feels like there's something that needs to go there, but hey, it's what I did. You know? You could play around with playing around and see how it would look if you added something there. So I'll take my blue, right? You could add a little, do I want to do it? Oh, I'm doing it. Shadow from the mound. That comes out here. Did I wreck it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I love it. Real time tutorial guy. See, you probably would have done this earlier. But sometimes you just never know. See, I'm adding some that blue and that gray. Get a little deeper. A little more intense of that blue. And maybe put some down here. I changed it, didn't I? You're probably saying, why the hell did she do that? Because that's how I roll. I'm a little crazy. And I can. So now it looks a little different, right? It was looking sparse. Something's bothered me about it. It is what it is. And then we can put that shadow back in and make this a little more intense. See? Guys, don't be afraid. Just because, see what I did? I just took a chance. Take a chance on me. Take a chance, guys. See, I'm putting these little streaks of the, the branches coming down. I just feel like it's too white. I don't know, it's driving me nuts. I go back in and add some snow while that, you know, I did all that over there. But this is what I did. And I'm just gonna go with it. And I'm not gonna be upset about it. See? Take a chance. Grab some of this brown. Put some like grass. Doo -doo. Like the grass. Get a little expressive down here. See, you gotta play. See I'm playing? I did some real time guys. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I went for it. And this is what I want you to do. Go for it! <laughs> So I will have to clean my brush. And since there was snow over there, no snow over there, it'd be kind of odd that everyone else had snow, but this guy was left out in the crowd. Put some snow on here to make sense. Fantastico! And we'll reveal our masterpiece. Yes, I can tell I'm crazy today. This is what I mean when you play. Don't get in your head. Put some trees, put some paint down. Move color around, experiment, right? And look, not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little look winter watercolor tutorial. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I'm one of those kind of crazy ladies that likes to have fun with paint. Um, and also hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up and check out my Patreon. So. Take care guys, have a great day, and I will speak to you soon, and happy painting!